এনা মানি উনিশশো সালে ব্রিটেন আগমনের মধ্য দিয়ে যার এগিয়ে যাবার যাত্রা শুরু জন্ম উনিশশো সালে সিলেটের জিন্দাবাজারে এখানে কাটিয়েছেন শৈশব কৈশোর এমনকি লেখাপড়া করেছেন এই সিলেটে উনিশশো সালে লন্ডনে আসার পরও চালিয়ে গেছেন লেখাপড়া হসপিটালিটি ম্যানেজমেন্টে ডিগ্রি অর্জনের পরই শুরু করেন রেস্টুরেন্ট ব্যবসা এরপর আর পেছনে ফিরে তাকাতে হয়নি এনা মালিকে সবচেয়ে সফল বাংলাদেশিদের একজন এনাম আলী বিশ্বের প্রথম ফ্লাইং রেস্টুরেন্টের সূচনা হয় তার হাত ধরেই সক্রিয় পরিচিতি পায় বাংলাদেশি রেস্টুরেন্ট সারা বিশ্বে ছড়িয়ে পড়ে বাংলাদেশি রেস্টুরেন্টের খাবারের সুনাম রেস্টুরেন্টের এই অভিনব পদ্ধতি শুরু করে বিশ্বজুড়ে আলোড়ন তৈরি করেছিলেন এসেছিলেন আলোচনায় Even used in a political speech about multiculturalism by a man with a tikka masala coloured beard. Chicken tikka masala is now a true British national dish. Rich food, lots of butter and ghee. I mean, this is the kind of thing which isn't exactly the best for, for your arteries these I, days. I, I will differ that. I think uh, the curry is one of the most healthy uh, cuisine. You have a choice of Not things. if it's cooked in lots uh, of ghee. Yeah, of course, you can have without ghee. <laughs> and you still you can. So you have a choice of the curry is not described. You've got to put a ghee. You can have without ghee and you still have a lovely, lovely food. Bangladesh is a small part of the country. বিশ্ববাসীর কাছে দেশকে তুলে ধরতে এনামারির অবদান বলাই বাহুল্য বাংলাদেশি রেস্টুরেন্টের ভারতীয় নামকরণের বিপক্ষে ছিল তার সুদৃঢ় অবস্থান তার উদ্যোগে প্রবাসী বাংলাদেশিরা এগিয়ে আসেন রেস্টুরেন্টের বিদেশি নাম বদলে দেশীয় নামকরণে তার এই আহ্বানে সাড়া দিয়ে পূর্বে ভারতীয় নাম ব্যবহারকারী বাংলাদেশি রেস্টুরেন্টের নাম পরিবর্তিত হয় স্টার অফ ইন্ডিয়া থেকে স্টার অফ বেঙ্গল রাজস্থান থেকে রাজশাহী ইত্যাদি তৎকালীন ব্রিটেনের প্রধানমন্ত্রী জন মেজরের সাথে বাংলাদেশ সরকারের প্রধানমন্ত্রীও রেস্টুরেন্টের দেশীয় নামকরণের এই উদ্যোগকে সাধুবাদ জানিয়েছিলেন এ ধরনের প্রচারণার সুফল এখনও পাওয়া যাচ্ছে বিদেশে মাটিতে মাথা উঁচু করে দাঁড়ানোর সুযোগ পায় বাঙালি রেস্টুরেন্ট ব্যবসায়ীরা দু হাজার সালে কারি শিল্পের শক্তিশালী মুখপাত্র স্পাইস বিজনেস ম্যাগাজিন বের করার উদ্যোগ এনামালের ইনিয়া খুব অল্প সময়ে এই শিল্পে নানা সমস্যা তুলে ধরায় প্রবাসী রেস্টুরেন্ট ব্যবসায়ীদের কাছে জনপ্রিয়তা অর্জন করেছিল ম্যাগাজিনটি Enam Ali, Spice Business Magazine and the organizers of these awards have established them so firmly in the national calendar. Bortomani magazine ti prochar shankha 1 lakh chhariye gache. A new magazine called Spice Business. I jumped at the idea of supporting him. Feelings that I thought had been suppressed in this country for decades. Mission is satisfying my thought. Um, first of all, what scale are we talking about? How many curry restaurants are there? Inevitably have to bring people in yes. because you yeah. might advertise the jobs here but, but no one available. applies. The scale is not available. Basically what he's saying, Mr McNulty, is the practice and the theory will be very, very different here. I can see it now. সমস্যা সমাধানের পক্ষে জনমত গড়ে তুলে হাউস অব পার্লামেন্টে সরকার ও বিরোধী দলীয় এমপিদের সাথেও আলোচনা করেন তিনি produces the Spice Business Magazine, a restaurant owner, extremely influential in the industry, and organises the British Curry Awards. I've spoken to Enam Ali and I've told him, and I'll tell the Honourable Gentleman, these do not quote constantly examples that are just profoundly wrong. 
Any chef who's currently working uh, and has the skills to work in a five-star restaurant in Bombay will be welcome in this country uh, with open arms. You're entirely wrong, and so is my honourable friend under the new system. Uh, whether, if there are difficulties now, then let's address those differences now. The, the Minister is confident enough to, to believe that, that he is right. Uh, distinguished uh, Bangladeshi restaurateurs are wrong. Uh, his honourable friend from Leicester East is wrong. The whole world is wrong except the Minister. First of all, I want to pay tribute to uh, Emin Ali and uh, all the uh, various uh, organisations and individuals here tonight, but also all over the country, that have campaigned against these changes, which I think will be a disaster for the industry. And we've already got 10,000 uh, uh, chefs, uh, as far as the shortage is concerned. It's going to be worse next year. As we saw, the minister has now changed. Yeah. Uh, so part of the campaign was successful. What could the impact of all of that be? With me here in the studio is Inam Ali, who's from the Guild of Bangladeshi Restaurateurs. Hello to you. Hello. Of London's curry restaurants say they're worried that new plans for immigration will make it harder for them to recruit the staff they need. In a worst case scenario, they say some restaurants could be forced to close. Some colleges which is providing the chef is not enough. We have a 9,000 500 restaurant in this country. Mr McNulty, a curry industry that's under threat, they can't use anyone to become an Indian chef. But there is a significant shortage of chefs and highly qualified. Certainly will. Let's talk to Andy about it, who's in Westminster. Evening to you, Andy. So, Gordon Brown, not in agreement with the Lord's report then? No, but things are changing. Look at what the government's proposing now. This point system, for instance, which is designed to ensure that no unskilled labour comes from outside the European Union, from countries like India, Bangladesh and Pakistan, for instance. And also this idea that immigrants in advance should pay into some sort of fund to cover anything that they might draw from Social Security in the UK. So while there's certainly no admission from the government that they might have got things wrong in the past, I think they are signalling that they have to tighten up now. Everyone knows how important it is for any individual restaurant the chef is the main key player of the business. If the chef is not available, then this restaurant cannot be run. Some of the very finest. Thank you very much, Ina Mali. Perhaps okay. we'll talk again when we know whether those proposals are going through. Thank you. Ina Mali, Britain restaurant sector unnoyne bivinno kormo kande shathe jodi tu. Ina Mali and people like Enan have done more to bring different races together in this country than any of the politicians, as far as I can see. Bigoto paaj bachhor theke. British Curry Award Proborton Kore, Bishir Restaurant Malik Dil Prashun Shakti Nichin. British Curry Awards 2005. The British Curry Awards 2006. Welcome to the British Curry Awards 2007. The British Curry Awards, the Oscars. Here I am. And the winner is. The winner of this award is. Thank you all for joining us tonight. One of the biggest and most prestigious awards in the hospitality arena. The numbers of people and the vibrancy of it all, it's amazing. The future is not orange, the future is curry. You look around tonight, this is now the country we are, and it's better than it's ever been before. That Probotito A award ke BBC World, Oscar Shamatullo Bole Montepokurache. Two centuries later, going for a curry is considered part of British culture and it's been voted the country's favourite cuisine in many surveys. Now the best restaurants in Britain have been recognised in the country's first curry awards, a glittering ceremony in London that's been described as the industry's equivalent of the Oscars. Well, with me now is Inam Ali, who organised... It's very difficult for a restaurateur who has got a margin is very low. This year's British Curry Awards is the biggest event in the curry calendar, believe it or not. Britain এই অ্যাওয়ার্ডটি বর্তমানে দ্বিতীয় বৃহত্তম পুরস্কার বিতরণী অনুষ্ঠান হিসেবে মর্যাদা লাভ করেছে together celebrate what is a, a brilliant success story for this country it's really hats off to Inam Ali for organizing it i know my dad has dedicated the industry religiously and i just hope the government understand our crisis I'm extremely proud of, of the people here because 
uh, all the Indian restaurants, as you probably know, are owned by Bangladeshis. And uh, not only Bangladeshis, they're Bangladeshis from a particular region of Bangladesh, or British Bangladeshis from a particular region of Silet. And I was born there too. It packed out. People from all political parties, all backgrounds. Curry is really on the British map. It's part and parcel of British culture now. So tonight is a celebration of British culture. And to present the award, would you welcome, please, the gentleman who thought of the Curry Oscars, the British Curry Awards, our inventor and our moral guardian in every way, and the, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, your friend and mine, Inam Ali. And I'd really like to say thank you very much. Residents of our sovereign and the largest occupied castle in the world. A royal home and fortress encapsulating nearly 1,000 years of British history. Britain, Bangladeshi community, John of Kyo Bektito, Spice Business Magazine, Shampadok, Ebung. British Kariyawade Pratishthata Enamali MB or that member of British Empire Khetabe Bhushita Hoye Chen. Salute Chamber at Windsor Castle. The honours system and the concept of the investitures as we know it today is relatively new. scene is set, the briefings are over, and the investiture is about to begin. It is 11 o'clock. Please be seated. Such splendid surroundings and with such grace, style and ceremony. Mr. Enam Ali for services to the Indian and Bangladeshi restaurant industry. Investitures are traditional, and I'm, I'm always absolutely fascinated by the people who come, and, and all the things that they, they've done, and they all have different reactions. They all um, can tell you something different. And if you ask them that question, it's well, um, you know, if you know a little bit about what, what happens there, Oh, it was all very impressive, wonderful experience. And uh, I loved Windsor Castle. It felt really very homely in spite of all the splendor. Marvelous, it was absolutely wonderful, arriving here in Windsor Castle for the first time, coming inside. Kari industry Ajun Duthi Shebe, Enamale Bishash Karin, Tari Shafole Dhara, Bhavishat Projunmu, Onik Dur Boe Nijabe.